Maybe it's going to be about Shaq coming out saying that he was envious of LeBron James passing Kareem's rocket, and he wished he had done a few things. And I saw Skip and Shannon bait on undisputed. I still got Shaquille O'Neal over LeBron James. I still got Shaq as one of my top five greatest players ever. I'm sorry. And I, I hold Kareem in high regard, and I think they won and won any far as centers overall for body of work, for diamonds, for impact. I don't know why Shaq would be envious of LeBron James and the, maybe because of scoring, but, I mean, they got the same amount of rings. Shaq went to six finals. It was a different era. Now, you could say he probably didn't put the work in, and some people say the shape and all that, but he's the last man to three-peat. Something LeBron James ain't seemingly going to be able to do, Steph Curry or Kevin Durant. And those three are the most important players of the last decade, however way you want to rank them. <clears throat> but they're not seeing Shaquille O'Neal as far as a three-peat. Kobe didn't do it. Elijah one didn't do it. Tim Duncan didn't do it. And, you know, Jokic right now is like he got a chance to three-peat as a league MVP, but he can't do nothing in the postseason. We'll see what Giannis does. What Shaquille O'Neal did in his peak and his prime is still incredible. Period. The last man to three-peat after Michael Jordan. So I know there are guys that I know Shaq is petty at times. I know that he gets salty. He always has to talk about his four rings. He always has to emphasize how important he was. And sometimes he and he feel wounded. And they all insecure. Very seldom do you see a player that won and says, I'm cool with where I'm at. And if they say someone's better, I'm good with it. I think Bill Russell was one of the few that was cool with where he was. Rest in peace. There are a few. But a lot of them are insecure. LeBron always stays insecure. Like a wounded dog crying. I want more love. No one loves me. Give me a new bone. And Shaq does it. I don't like it because you did the best you could, really. I mean, yeah, maybe you maybe win one more ring or maybe score a couple more thousand points, but really, people aren't going to, you know. I'm one of those kind of people that personally, I think that when I think about Shaq, I say the biggest thing to hurt him is he just didn't have the right structure and coach early on in Orlando. He was Giannis. He was the Greek freak girl in his career. Penny didn't stay healthy. and But he won wherever he went. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> went to the finals with Penny, four finals with Kobe, and went to the finals with D Wade. Should have been maybe multiple ones with D Wade. You put him with a premier two guard, he she gave you results. He took three different teams to the finals in a 10 year span. So, I mean, he did everything. <clears throat> he had a great career, the most dominant career. So, I don't know what you want. He's the last man to win three straight in the finals. So that, to me, is something that I don't see being happening no time. So despite the fact that LeBron James camped out in the finals, Steph Curry didn't camp out in the finals, Durant was kind of camping out, these cats, no one has imposed their will the way Shaquille O'Neal did. So he can be insecure about stats or something like that. But the bottom line is <clears throat> he dominated where it counted. And so maybe, yeah, he may have been a ring or so this or a few points there and that can't take away but insecurity is one thing that some cats were always like i wish i could have would have done but if you had have done that you might not have been where you were so some people it'll never change it all depends how you look at it but again just give me your thoughts your takes please like subscribe welcome thoughts or comments and i do respond thank you wash your hands keep your mind clear watch out for another share the video if you want to and shaq's always top five with me period i'm out